cannot believe that we got Bill and Milton to do their live radio broadcast from our hotel. It's going to give us so much publicity. And Lord knows, with the business as slow as it's been, we need it. Yeah, there it is. How's it look? Oh, it looks just fine. Just fine. Back to the kitchen now. <laughs> What? That's it? No thanks? No gratitude? I mean, you get me all hot and sweaty, work me like crazy, and then send me away? Man, I feel like one of your dates. But I guess you'll want to run back to the Arco station and brag to all your buddies. No, good, good. I can't wait to see you too, Mom. Okay, yeah, this is great. This is terrible. My parents are coming to see me, and I think my dad has some bad news to tell me. Why? What makes you think so? Well, he called me Roly. So? So the last time he called me Roly, he told me I'd been cut from the Little League team. How come the coach didn't tell you? He was the coach. Well, what do you think it is this time? Taffy's dead. Who's Taffy? Our dog. <gasps> Your mother and dad would fly all the way down here just to tell you a dog died. It wasn't just a dog, Blanche. <laughs> It's a part of our family. We had her for over 14 years. So what do you think she died of? She was a smoker, Rose. <laughs> Old age. I just said we had her for over 14 years. Sarcasm, Roly? Maybe that's why Daddy didn't want you on the team. Thank you. There's Thank 30. you very much. Thank you very much. Nice. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name's Chewy. Oh, how are you doing? Hi. This is Sophia. Hi, Sophia. How are you? Nice to meet you. You guys are the funniest thing I ever heard, and I always wondered why you're not on TV. Although, now I know. <laughs> hey, you gonna do one of your practical jokes for incredibly stupid people? I just love that. No, we haven't done that in a long time. As a matter of fact, the last time we did that stunt, uh, Milt here had a little mishap. Yeah, according to Bill here, some tranquilizers don't work on some alligators. <laughs> here we go again. We pulled him off you, didn't we? You tied live chickens to my feet. <laughs> it was funny, wasn't it? I lost a toe. <laughs> We found it! Well, it's... Hey, it's a shame you don't do those jokes anymore because I know the perfect victim for your show tonight. Oh, really? Yeah, but the stuff we did was uh, it's so outrageous. We could do the pen and Teller bit, though. Mm. Are you sure this person is stupid enough to fall for one of our practical jokes? <laughs> Trust me on this one. Ooh, rolling. The hotel is beautiful. Son, I'm impressed. Well, uh, I've tried to create an atmosphere of class and dignity. I hope I succeeded. Hold that elevator. Thing. No, 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 no. Call the owners and tell them there's a crazy woman loose in the hotel. Well, you know, actually, that is one of the. Yeah, I want to go ahead and make that call. First, show us to our rooms. We want to get cleaned up before we eat. Okay, how long are we gonna do this? Do what? Act like there's nothing wrong. You guys came down here to tell me some bad news. What is it? I'm sorry, son. We didn't want to break this to you over the phone. Just go ahead, Pop. I have a feeling I know what this is already. Now, Roland, promise you won't take this too hard. You get so easily upset. Mom, look, stop treating me like a child. I'm a mature adult. Just say it. Your mother and I have decided to get a divorce. <laughs> you and Mommy are going to do what? <laughs> This comes as a shock to you, honey. But the marriage has been over for years, and we feel it's time to stop pretending. We live pretending? What are you, are you crazy? You two need each other. Roland, your mother and I have been unhappy for at least 20 years. 20 years? Yes. You two have been unhappy for 20 years of your life? I'm afraid so. So what's another 20? <laughs> Roly. No, no, no. Don't, don't roly me. You just blurted this out. And this is really bad news. You didn't even prepare me or anything, Pop. You didn't even say sit down, son. God, I thought you came down here to tell me that Taffy died. At least I was wrong about that. 
<laughs> Sit down, son. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're broadcasting live here from the Golden Palace Hotel, talking to one of its owners, the witty, vivacious, and might I add, lovely Blanche oh. Devereaux. Oh, Blanche, say hello to our listeners. Hello. <laughs> Do you mind if we ask you a couple of personal questions? Not at all, Bill. <laughs> Tell us, as a transvestite, do you find that it's it's harder running a business here in conservative Miami? I beg your pardon, Bill. I am not a transvestite. <laughs> I'm sorry, transsexual. I always get you guys mixed up. Boy, you know, I get them mixed up too, Bill, especially after a couple of beers. You know, you can never... <laughs> Wait a minute. Listen. Look here. I am a woman, I, and I was born a woman. Oh. Yeah. You mean a woman trapped in a man's body. Same old story. Yeah. Okay, why don't you tell us about the operation then, Blanche? Yes. You know, they say sometimes when a man has to have his leg amputated, he can still feel the leg. Yeah, they want to wiggle her toes, you know. Yeah. Did you uh, ever want to wiggle your toe, Blanche? Or do you keep your toe in a jar? I know mine is. Uh, right. Listen. Now, my name is Blanche Devereaux. I am a woman. I have always been a woman. There must be somebody out there who slept with me. <laughs> oh, Rose. Oh, uh, how about a nice round of applause for our guest, Mr. Blanche Devereaux. How about right here? Thank you, thank you. What the hell? Attention's attention. Well, Milton, I see by my watch it's time for a little audience participation. And we're going to try an old favorite called Have a Little Faith. I love that. Yeah, me too. Now, uh, we're going to need a volunteer for this game. Now, anybody here want to play? Rose, you what are you waiting for? Raise your hand. I don't think so. Why should I go up and let them make me look like a fool? I mean, what's in it for me? As a prize, we'll be giving away these three magic beans. Ooh, ooh. Oh, we have a volunteer. Come right over here, sweet thing. Tell us what's your name. Uh, Rose, Rose Nyland. Hi, Rose, Rose Nyland. How are you? That's catchy. Now, in order for you to win these beans, you have to answer three trivia questions. Uh, how are you on farm? trivia. Oh, I'm great on farm trivia. I used to live on a farm. Isn't that a coincidence? Absolutely. <laughs> Boy, this will be easy. And I have faith that you can do it. <laughs> Don't you, Milt? I'd be willing to bet my life on it, Billy. <laughs> I'll take that bet, Milt. Oh. Okay, boys. <laughs> Listeners at home, we have a tank of water in front of us. Now, Milt, I double dare you to stay submerged in this tank of water until Rose successfully answers all three farm trivia questions. <laughs> Boy, I don't think I could pass up an opportunity like wait, that, Bill. Get on it. Wait, wait, how's he gonna breathe in there? Well, he can't, that's the point. We're depending on you. We have faith in you that you'll get him out in time. What's more important than faith? Air! Air's more important. <laughs> You know, Billy, the lady may be right on that air theory. I just don't oh, get in there. <laughs> okay, he's in there nicely safe in there, nicely sealed up. Okay, now let's get to question number one. But before we get to question number one, Rose, tell us about yourself. Where are you from? So you all are perfect. Well, what does it matter? I mean, just ask the question. Oh, all right, question number one. What do you call a baby goose? A uh, gosling. Gosling, that's very good. Okay, um... Question number two. Pay attention, dear. Name a machine that you find... A tractor. No, no. Well, wait till I finish the question, dear. It's not oh. really fair unless you let me finish the question. I'm sorry. Okay. Name a machine that you find on a farm. A tractor? Yes! Very good. You're doing so well. This is only your first time. Ladies and gentlemen, she's terrific. Before we get to question three, let's have a small commercial break. Oh, no! no, no. Oh. Oh, okay. Now, the third question. Question number three. Name 50 things that a farmer plants. 50? You want 50? Well, there's a thousand of them. Come on, you can rip them off like that. Let's go. Uh, wheat. Yeah. Barley. Yeah. Rice. Good. Cotton. Yes. Uh, corn. Yes. Uh, how many is that? Let me see. You said wheat, uh, barley. Oh, never mind. Peas, lettuce, cauliflower, corn. Nope. You already said corn. Did not. Do you too? Didn't she vote? Did you already say corn? Yeah. What does it matter? Get him out of there. He's good. No, we can't. 
change the rules unless I check with my partner. Just a minute. <laughs> Sweetie, honey, you want out? He loves it in there. He's like a fish. <laughs> Go on, come on, you're doing Oh, great. my God. Um, parsnips, turnips, uh, yams, sugar beets, uh, watercress, yeah. hominy, yeah. marijuana. Oh. Yeah. oh, my God. Hey, it may be illegal, but it's a cash crop. No, no, no. Oh, Maybe I can help. Oh, please, anything. This man is dead. Oh, no. And I have a very strong hunch he drowned. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Goodbye, funny face. You killed my partner. Oh, no. Did you hear that, Miami? Rose Nyland killed my partner. <laughs> and I'll listen to Rick James singing Super Freak. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't mean to kill him. I, I'm a bad girl. I'm a bad, stupid girl. Sophia, this prank on Rose has gone too far. Ah, don't be a baby. This is horrible. How can you do this? Rose is the sweetest woman in the world. And while you're standing out here laughing, she's probably sitting in the lobby crying her eyes out. I see what you're saying. I should be in there watching that. <laughs> Sophia, I know why you did this to Rose. You did it because you're jealous of her. And you're jealous of her because you're a mean old woman. Ooh, gee. When do they start teaching psychology at Hamburger U? <laughs> Sophia, I'm serious. You gotta tell her the truth. Oh, come on. It's her own fault. Even a chimpanzee would know it was a practical joke. Sophia, I think we all agree that the noble chimp has a leg up on Rose. <laughs> but that's not what we're talking about here. Oh, hi, Rose. Uh, what do you got? A moth. I found it in my room. <laughs> I just want to be sure it gets outside safely. From now on, I'm dedicating myself to preserving life. Fly, little moth. Be free and live. <laughs> Did I mention we got a great deal on a bug zapper? <laughs> Excuse me. Well, she's two for two. All right, that's it. Either you tell her or I'll tell her. Okay, okay. I thought this kind of practical joke would make me laugh, but it hasn't. It's affected me in ways I didn't think possible. Yeah, it's made you feel ashamed, hasn't it? No, it excited me sexually. <laughs> Sophia? I'm as shocked as you are. <laughs> Roland, I think I could really help your parents. You know, my husband George and I spent some time at a marriage council, and I really learned a lot. I learned how to be detached and objective. See, you're too emotionally involved oh. to be of any real help. No, now you know what I think? No, I don't you care what you think, Blanche. Now, look, if my parents don't realize that they belong together, then I'm going to show them. I think and, Blanche, I don't need your help. Well... So until I find a place of my own, I'll just move in with Roland. Whatever. Blanche, I need your help. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, Blanche wants to talk to you for a second. Hello sec. again. Now, I want you both to realize that I've had considerable experience in mediating problems like yours. <laughs> well, that's very kind of you, but this is rather a personal matter. Personal matters are my specialty. Now, Louise, um, what was your first indication that there might be a problem in the marriage? Well, if you must know, it began in the bedroom. Ho, oh, oh. ho! <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I, I don't want to hear them talk about this. Well, fine. Go in the other room. <laughs> what was it, honey? Too little? Too much? I I'm not afraid of details. <laughs> Maybe if you'd been more passionate, I wouldn't have had guys over to watch sports all the time. How could I be more passionate in a room full of men? Actually... Blanche! <laughs> Look, this is crazy. This just is not going to work. Roland, will you please give this a chance? All these people need is a third party who's not personally involved. Yeah, but you... Now, Joe, Louise, you know, a marriage doesn't break up over just one issue. Now, there must have been other conflicts. Of course. Louise lost all of our life savings gambling. What? Wait a minute. Nobody ever told me that. Mom, I had no idea you knew how to gamble. Well, apparently she doesn't. <laughs> You know, my husband and I used to 
play the horses. Well, I wouldn't gamble if you were to stay home on the weekends. Why? So I can listen to you nag about how I don't make enough money? We loved all those little riding crops and saddles. <laughs> Better a nagging woman than a man who can't control his tears. Even men have a change of life, Louise. Of course, we never actually made it to the track. <laughs> he was a lusty man. <laughs> lusty, zesty man. Zesty cowboy who like to ride all night. Lynch! Will you stop talking about yourself? My God, my parents have problems. They have very serious problems. Honey, that's what we've been trying to tell you. This hasn't been easy for us either, son. But it's time we got on with our lives, and you too. Well, I guess it's time I accepted this. I mean, I'm not going to like it, but if a divorce is what you guys want, then I... I'm not going to stand in your way. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Not you. Go on, Sophia. Go on. Tell her right now. Rose, I have something to tell you, and it's very difficult for me. Oh, no. More bad news. Don't tell me. The magic beans weren't really magic. <laughs> Come on. She's so easy. Tell her now, old woman. All right, all right. There's something I haven't been totally honest with you about. Whoa! Oh, whoa! This is horrible. I gotta hide. What's wrong? What's wrong? You killed a man. I killed a ghost. You killed a man, you idiot. I don't understand. It was a joke. I was pulling a joke on you. Milton wasn't really dead. It was all just a big joke. Sophia, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> joke on an incredibly stupid person. <laughs> did you have a good time, ma'am? Oh, I sure did. How about you, sir? I am a woman, damn it. Prove it. Well, fine. How about starting off with dinner? Fine. I'm right behind you. Oh. Can't believe how this transvestite bit works every time. <laughs> I can't believe how this dinner and I'll prove it to you bit works every time. I don't believe this. Rose, you knew? The whole time. We all did. When you went to Milton and Bill, they came to me. They felt anybody as vindictive as you deserved a practical joke. <laughs> so, who's the incredibly stupid one now? So you had this all planned, even down to the moth and the bug zapper? No, that was an unfortunate accident. <laughs> I hope you're all satisfied. This was a terrible thing to do to an old lady. <laughs> it's not funny. You really had me scared. You really had me... <laughs> well, they didn't buy the heart attack. But the 
joke's on them. I think I broke my hip. 